think that was my favorite one yet. I am cooking with these intros. But today is a good day for a very small amount of people, but a, but a bad day for a large amount of people. Why? Mark Zingerberger, he is jumping up and down because finally his reels are going to get the attention they deserve, even though all the reels are from tiktok videos and youtube short is going to be celebrating from the back while uh, reels are taking over the big brother's throne which is tiktok and they're jumping up and down thinking they have a chance but mark zingerberger don't get your hopes high because they're most probably probably sorted out what will they sort out well last month i made a video about tiktok getting banned every month they're coming with new things i i don't know how the u.s Government, I've never believed in US. I am not in the US. I don't know how the housing, the Senate, I get the idea. A couple of politicians, they do a meet and greet. They all gather up. They do a vote on a law that they want They want to take place. Then they send it to a house and the house goes to a, sen a sen senator. Then it goes to the president for him to sign and make it a law. Correct me if I'm wrong. But in the last video, we talked about the politicians. They sat down. They were all saying... <laughs> TikTok bad, TikTok Chinese. The last time the politicians brought all the companies, uh, TikTok, Instagram, they put all the CEOs on the spot and they start asking them questions. We know TikTok reads your phone. They hack into your phone. What if the Chinese government comes and tells them to spy on us? What will you then? How will you respond? They put them on spot and a couple of people who never knew how to use technology were asking the questions. And they voted up and they decided to, you know, it passed the vote and they decided to send it to the house, I believe. Now, it went to the house a few days ago. I'm sure you saw a lot of YouTube videos or TikTok videos of TikTok getting banned. But today, just an hour ago, I'm making this video. It came out that the house passed the, I believe, two out of the three stages for TikTok getting banned. So the last stage is sending the papers to the president and they need to sign it and that is it the second that signs it is going to be removed tiktok is going to be removed from apple store google store moogle store all these places that you can download and update it is going to be gone and all these you know it's going to be the law so apple has to and samsung android they have to accept it even though they make a lot of money from it it is the law and it will be illegal for anyone to download it on this vote, the yeas are 352, the nays are 65, one present, two-thirds being in the affirmative, the rules are suspended, the bill is passed, and without the objection, the motion to reconsider is laid on the table. And TikTok influencers shitting themselves, doing the renegade dance while they're watching this and hoping for a miracle to happen. Today, they passed a bill that would require TikTok's Chinese parent company bite dance to sell it within 180 days or risk tiktok being banned from the u.s app stores and websites hosting services so what did the government say don't worry tiktok if you think you're going to crash and you're never going to recover from 170 million people who use this app and you're going to crash and burn we will buy it from you all you have to do within six months agree to sell it to us and then it will not be banned. It is very kind of the US government. It's not like they're trying to control the apps or control the whole world, you know? I know we don't really talk about politics, but the whole social media, my whole, you know, sitting in front of the camera started with TikTok, you know? So I, I feel like if I don't talk about this politician type of things and kind of defend TikTok in a way, like, I'm not really a big fan of TikTok anymore, but I feel like I'll be cheating on TikTok. So if you if your feelings are going get, to gonna get hurt from what I'm about to say, not my problem. Go stand in the corner, play my video and cry and complain, talk to the wall. Meanwhile, US, anyone who works in the government, they're not even allowed to have a TikTok on their phone because they're going to get spied on. And it is kind of true, like in China, you know, South Korea, North Korea, whatever, there are going to be a lot of the government can press on the companies and the companies has has no say in it so anytime china is going to be like you spy for us on america since they accused of china spying on them and they were like it's not safe this is what china said china foreign minister spokesman wang win warned that the potential tiktok ban would come back to the bite the u.s basically what they meant is gonna bite usa in the ass although united states have never found evidence that tiktok threatens the u.s national security it is it has not stopped suppressing tiktok 
when saying that's kind of bullying behavior cannot be within uh, the fair competition disrupts companies and none of them when the damage is a comfort basically what bro went is like too many people are addicted to tiktok people at work what are they going to do at work you think people will go and watch youtube shorts who watches YouTube shorts? So it's gonna be people looking at walls and there's a lot of businesses in play right now on TikTok. You know, the amount of people who got successful in their careers and their businesses, whatever the promotion, it is the, I always say this, TikTok, it's not a good place to have a community. It is the perfect place to get maximum exposure. And now they're going to take the crack away from the crackhead. It is going to be a lot of issues coming up if Sleepy Joe decides to sign it and make it a law. It's very hard to say where what's going to happen, but most likely they will share. They will come to an agreement. This is my prediction. They will come to an agreement that they will sell a, a part of TikTok to the U.S. government so they will all be in touch and they will go forward because there's a lot of money in play you cannot just take shut it off from 170 million people watching it only from the us still people can access it but they have to go through vpn and i think in that case people are just gonna go just watching on reels you know now in the last video we talked about how they're saying china all oh, is putting us this tiktok is putting us in a national security uh government issue we have to do, sort this issue out and just now when they came out and they said, if they sell a part of TikTok to us, we will be chill. We'll be fine. That kind of changed my perspective about things. It's going to hurt some of you. But like I said, if you get hurt, go in the corner and cry. I don't care. This has been the top trending hashtags on TikTok. Now, one thing we know about US is they love being in control of things. They love putting their nose somewhere that it doesn't belong. And they love it to raise prices for healthcare and not give a cent to their own people and tax them to t take their money, all the hard work that people are doing, 30, 40%, I don't know how much, take their money and put it on transgender generals. Yes, I was going to do a video about a transgeneral where your taxes money is going on a transgender general saying that LGBTQ in the army need to be respected. US, you are doomed. And did you know that most of the companies, websites, applications, products, you know who's behind most of them? Even Ryan Garcia talking about uh, exposing the elites. Most of them are Jewish. Now, I'm not saying I have anything against Jewish people. Doesn't matter, Jewish, Islam, Christian. People can take advantage of their religion and they can twist it. A lot of governments do this. The difference is you need to know the uh, difference between right and wrong. But these, um, I don't want to say the, the word. It starts with Z. Z O. you can, you can uh, match the things. I don't want this video to be taken down. These are Jewish. Z O. They, they are in control of one of your, uh, control of most of your snacks, food, whatever. That's the reason why a lot of people are boycotting a lot of brands. Pepsi. Uh, chips, whatever, you know, McDonald's, they're boycotting these things. And your favorite website as well, the uh, Corn Hub, who do you think owns it? Rabbi Solomon Friedman. W where is he from? Now, I would say boycott Corn Hub, but when I look at you, I don't think you can, bro. It's okay, st stay, <laughs> stay strong. <laughs> so yeah, they're trying to get control of the app so they can control exactly what happens. Now they have some say in it, but once they own it, Full on control. This is my theory. But there was a video leakage of this as well, which is trending all over Twitter. Till I stumbled upon this leaked recording. First off, what I'm about to get into is highly controversial. It's extremely <coughs> sensitive, so I'm gonna have to be really careful about it. So this leaked recording is from about four or five months ago. It's Jonathan Greenblatt. He is the head of the Anti-Defamation League. And so we really have a TikTok problem, a Gen Z problem. Because again, like we've been If you didn't understand, let me translate it for you. We program people's minds this way, but the Gen Z, they're finding out the truth. We need to put the same idea that we put in the last generation that they got brainwashed 
and they believe whatever we say and we'll put it on the new generation so we will again be in control of things this is how the world works these are the people who are called the elites and one thing that has been going on for a couple of a couple of while now that i come i come to realize that is very true hollywood people put movies out a lot of movies a lot of tv series out and when you watch a movie and or series or whatever you binge watch do you do you forget what's happening around the world do you zone out and you're entertained you're just watching eating your food smoking your shisha and you're chilling uh, with your uh, girlfriend or, bo or boyfriend and just forget what's happening right this is what they do they put these things in front of us they share these things entertainment news whatever movies and they do their dirty work under the carpet so from now on i am not going to watch any movies or any tv series again that is it this is how brainwash you this is how hollywood brainwashes you i mean after i finish my current uh, series that i'm watching the tv show it's kind it's inter it's interesting wait let me finish this one then inshallah afterwards um i will st stop it forever we're probably not gonna stop watching but at least okay if you watch movies or tv shows don't watch it too much you know just sometimes so you still get the dopamine hit and also keep your eyes open so you're watching a movie like every 30 minutes stop it and look around and make sure in the internet i'm being serious about this but like keep your eyes open about what's happening in the world obviously these entertainments are bro we're bored with our lives obviously we're going to watch movies and tv series but keep your eyes open on what's happening around the world and 100 percent, these are the people who even control i believe they even control the president the elites are up there in their desk that no one i spoke about this as well before they're sitting in their desk and they're saying what this person should say what should we do about this generation what should we put in their heads what should we do this and blah 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 so yeah we are at the final stage of tiktok being banned but what i'm guessing again i predicted is going to be uh, they're going to sell a small part of it so they will be in control they will be sitting at the same table and then from there tiktok loves money and us has like a gazillion of amount of money and they never spend it on their own people but we spend it on the army we will spend it on other things and we will take your money and we will spend it on other things also unfortunately that is how the world is running right now some of you might agree with me some of you might disagree if you disagree just know i don't care well i don't care <laughs> but yeah that was it for today's video this was too controversial i think i need to go have some shisha to relax and yeah, if you enjoyed the video, like it, subscribe it. Anyways, take care of yourself. I'll see you at the next one.